everybody has a hobby. Some people like to collect Hummel figurines and others get their thrills by making shell art. But when your hobby becomes more of your lifestyle, that's when you want to come to Comic Con. Are you really the Hulk or are you wearing a costume? I would dress up every day if it was socially acceptable. You're the king of America? Yeah. Is this a well-known superhero? No, I mean I'm the king of America. Are you in costume or are yes. you here to bust some ghosts? My mother told me that I was conceived on Halloween night, so I think that might be a huge indicator. That's awesome. <laughs> hey, how you doing? Keep it cool. And with that, the costume contest was underway. But also at this superhero shindig were the real deals. Ah, Lou Ferrigno trying to kill me! That's right, the Hulk was there signing autographs. But the man to meet at the main event was none other than Batman himself. How many actors get a chance to create a character that becomes classic, iconic in pop culture, and goes on and on and on with these folks? Also in the very same room, the coolest Catwoman ever. But did you know Julie Newmar only shot six shows? I saw you kiss Batman, or did he kiss you, or what? I don't remember, it all happened so fast, it was so exciting. Now what if you actually wanted to become a superhero? Pop off the pages of a comic book as your undercover alter ego. Well then you will want to take a stroll down Artist Alley, where you will witness amazing talent at work. But we were in search of a man simply known as Captain Zorik. I'm in the place of an artist, writer, and filmmaker who is trying to promote his stuff. So we put Zorik to the test. Could he transform the Tony on team into the crime stomping crew? First up, Super Seth. History is a secret weapon. Then there's cyber agent Mark Joyella. Super annoyance is his superpower. Andrew 3000 McDowell, just plug him in to power up. Little Thunder Stevie with a lightning fast guitar built to transfix. And of course, yours truly, Tony the Titan. Now, if you were into superheroes, you were probably into gaming. I know our own go-to gadget guy, Mr. Andrew McDowell is, and he has the best new game picks that'll make great gifts this holiday season. Guilty as charged, Tony. My wife doesn't call me Captain America for nothing. And yes, I do love video games. And here are some of the coolest gets for Holiday 09. Pick up an Xbox 360 at PC Richard & Son this holiday season, and you can be sure to get a huge reaction from anyone to whom you give it. Plus, it comes with not one, but two free games. 2K Sports is back this year with NBA 2K10. The gameplay is smooth as silk, and the graphics are mind-blowing. The bar in basketball gaming has been reset once again. Pick this one up. Next up, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. This might be the most absorbing video game I have ever played. Any fan of adrenaline and guile will love you if you give this game to him or her. But use good judgment. This game is just about as violent as it is intense. If you like Guitar Hero, then you are going to love this new game. DJ Hero is an innovative standout. The wireless turntable controller is very clever and the graphics are completely sick. And I mean that as a compliment. DJ Hero is a great game with broad appeal, and that means it makes a great gift. That's right. DJ Andrew 3000 is in the house. If you spot the Tony on team shooting in the streets, just come up to us, wish us a happy holiday, and we'll help scratch someone off of your holiday gift list with one of these. I got a hint for you. If you tell me happy holidays, I'll give you a free scratch off game. Okay, happy holidays. With a little more enthusiasm, happy yet. holidays. <laughs> Get into the spirit this year with a New York Lottery instant game and give your loved one the chance to win up to 250,000 bucks. Who are you going to give it to? My wife. You're going to wish her happy holidays on the camera? Happy holidays, baby. I love you. <laughs> and just by giving instant games, you are helping to fund New York City schools. Last year alone, the New York Lottery contributed over $2 billion into New York schools. Now that is smart shopping. Happy holiday, New York! And that brings us to the trivia challenge. People, listen up, because if you get this right, you could win dinner for two at Nonya for the fried intestines. They also have other food. And also dinner for two right here at Toloache for the grasshopper tacos 
or just the regular tacos, plus all the free ketchup ice cream you could ever want. So here we go. In what year did P.T. Barnum display the Fiji Mermaid? In what year did P.T. Barnum display the Fiji Mermaid? Come on, people, this one's easy. We already told you. Oaks, 1842, the Fiji Mermaid. It was half fish, half monkey, carefully sewn together, and you couldn't get too close to it. Now all you have to do is log on to WPIX.com slash Tony and enter to win. Good luck, everyone. Well, that's all the time we have left. We hope you enjoyed exploring weird New York as much as we did, but we need to know what to do next week. So do us a favor, find us on Facebook or trail us on Twitter. And we'll see you next time on Tony On. We did, but we need to know what to do next week. So do us a favor, find us on Facebook or follow us on Twitter. And we'll see you next time on Tony On.